Welcome back to Unity Drive, where power meets precision and the sky is never the limit. Today, we dive into the skies with a true legend. It's sleek, powerful, and battle-proven. This is the 2026 F-A-18 Super Hornet, the pride of American naval aviation and one of the most formidable carrier-based fighters in the world. The Super Hornet isn't just a fighter jet. It's a story of evolution, adaptation, and relentless performance. Born in the 1990s to replace the iconic F-14 Tomcat and aging legacy Hornets, the Super Hornet was designed with one mission, to dominate the skies and survive the battlefield of tomorrow. Fast forward to 2026, and the latest Block 3 variant is here. This is not just an upgrade. It's a transformation. The Super Hornet now flies as a digital beast, modernized, networked, and ready for anything the 21st century battlefield throws at it. Let's talk numbers, the kind that make this jet a true marvel. Powered by two General Electric F414 Ga400 engines, the Super Hornet punches out a total of over 44,000 pounds of thrust. That allows it to soar past Mach 1.6, over 1,190 miles per hour. It's fast, yes, but also incredibly agile, thanks to its advanced flight control system and aerodynamic refinements. In terms of endurance, the Super Hornet flies with a combat radius of nearly 390 nautical miles and a service ceiling of over 50,000 feet. It can carry up to 17,750 pounds of ordnance on 11 hardpoints, from precision-guided JDAMs to harpoon anti-ship missiles and AMROM air-to-air missiles. And don't forget the internal M61A2 Vulcan cannon, a 20mm, 6-barrel Gatling gun that unleashes 6,000 rounds per minute. The 2026 isn't just about firepower, it's about intelligence. And that's where Block 3 truly shines. First up, the cockpit. Out goes the old layout, in comes the advanced cockpit system, a panoramic, touchscreen display that looks more like a sci-fi command center than a fighter interface. Everything is digital, customizable, and integrated into a single user-friendly interface that gives pilots complete control over mission data, weapons, and tactical communications. Then there are the conformal fuel tanks. These fuel tanks are built into the body of the aircraft, adding over 120 nautical miles to its range while maintaining the aircraft's stealth profile and agility. No bulky underwing tanks. Just smooth, efficient power projection. Speaking of stealth, Yes, the Super Hornet may not be a full 5th gen stealth fighter like the F-35C, but it has undergone serious stealth optimization. Radar absorbent coatings, reduced radar cross-section, and smoother contours help it stay off enemy radars much longer than its predecessors. The 2026 Super Hornet also features the latest networking capabilities through Tactical Targeting Network Technology, or TTNT. This system allows it to share data in real-time with other aircraft, naval ships, and drones, creating a real-time battlefield picture that empowers smarter, faster decisions. In the air, this means better coordination, synchronized strikes, and total information dominance. Whether it's providing air superiority, escorting a strike package, or coordinating with ground forces, the Super Hornet is more connected than ever before. And this aircraft isn't just surviving, it's dominating. Its combat record is long and impressive. From Iraq and Afghanistan to patrol missions in the South China Sea, the Super Hornet has proven itself time and time again in real-world combat. It's flown tens of thousands of sorties, dropped precision-guided munitions, provided close air support, and maintained air dominance over hostile territory. With a mission-capable rate above 80%, the Super Hornet is one of the most reliable jets in the U.S. Navies. Arsenal. It's rugged, dependable, and built for the brutal life of aircraft carrier operations, from catapult launches to arrested landings, in the dead of night or the middle of a storm. And while it's built primarily for the US Navy, it's not flying alone. The Royal Australian Air Force operates 24 Super Hornets, making it one of the few international operators of this powerful jet. Countries like India and Germany have considered it as a potential future multirole fighter due to its proven track record, versatility, and lower operational costs compared to stealth-only platforms. Now, what does the future hold for this jet? Even in an era of next-generation fighters and autonomous drones, the Super Hornet remains the workhorse of carrier aviation. The U.S. Navy continues to rely on it heavily, especially with the next-generation air dominance program still in development. 
and paired with assets like the MQ-25 Stingray, an unmanned aerial refueling drone, the Super Hornet will remain relevant and deadly well into the 2030s and beyond. Thanks to the Block 3 upgrades, the Super Hornet's service life is now extended to 10,000 flight hours. That's a long time to stay in the fight. And with its ability to adapt, integrate new weapons, and evolve with modern threats, the Super Hornet continues to punch above its weight. So why does the F-A-18 Super Hornet still matter in 2026? Because it's not just a plane, it's a complete system. A proven platform. A reliable partner. A symbol of American naval power. And when you need strength, reach, and reliability at sea, there's still nothing quite like the Super Hornet. Its blend of speed, range, firepower, and technology makes it one of the most balanced fighters in the world. It may not grab headlines like the F-35 or the future NGAD, but in terms of day-to-day -day operational power, few jets have earned their wings the way this one has. The Super Hornet proves that true power isn't just about stealth or speed, it's about being ready. Always. Thanks for watching Unity Drive. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the 2026 FA-18 Super Hornet, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop your thoughts in the comments, which aircraft should we cover next? This is Unity Drive, signing off, until the next mission.